Hello people and let's do something valuable here today for you. I will try to be very specific uh, to the points okay and will share with you why some people are earning money and some people are still struggling to earn money. So it's kind of like two ways of uh, it's kind of like two streams one people they they and they are only about five percent actually on an ebay they kind of like know what to do okay and we say well those are the top owners they are top rated sellers and whatever it is power sellers and stuff like this okay this is the good guys the big guys the guys who know how to do things another kind of people are dropshippers who just try their best work hard nothing really works out why it's so and how you can be in a 5% instead of 95%. This is what I teach to my private clients, the value ladder here, all right? So this is why my private clients, all of them, if they start out here from zero, from nothing, become six-figure earners in a one year, all right? This is how I became six-figure earner in one year, doing step-by-step -step simple tactics, methods, strategies, just by understanding how eBay works and what eBay expects us to do when we start dropshipping or when we do dropshipping, all right? So by saying this, there is some certain things I'm going to teach you on each level, okay? And each level represents equal like return on your investment or return in uh, terms of money on each level you get the different income back like on the first level i said awareness because because this is very simple guys i will gonna teach you how you can earn your first dollar the first dollar how to earn it's very critical important because this is you create awareness not only for yourself, there is two ways how to create awareness because this step what I'm teaching here in those videos are the step number one when we have to understand the, the importance of awareness and what we have to do to create awareness. Because there is two ways of awareness. Awareness, you have to be aware of what you do on eBay and you have to be uh, aware of what eBay expects you to do on in the dropshipping field. Believe me, guys, eBay is absolutely okay with the dropshippers. They are not against dropshippers. What they are against is the dropshippers who don't know what they are doing, or even worse, they don't know what they are actually want to do or who they are. So you have to be aware of that, what eBay wants you to do, and you have to be aware of what to do on eBay. It's kind of like both ways goes, okay? so. This is the first step. This is the fundament. If you want to skip that, it's 99% uh, possible that you will gonna be messed up. How do I know that? Because guys, I have been claiming this step up till 3000 earning in profits, not in sales, in profits without knowing that. I wish there would be some kind of guru at that time to teaching me the structure of eBay or awareness stuff. I wouldn't be messing up this. I wouldn't be falling down here again and start claiming up again. Okay, so I want my folks, and this is what I'm doing with all my students, private clients, and in uh, Quick Cash Coaching Group, we do the same. Okay, to create awareness that this is that there is some certain things what you have to do to create your awareness, and I'm gonna give you. Uh, maybe five things five things or five six things i'm gonna give it to you okay so the first of all when you start ebay dropshipping okay you have to start with the private account no business account private account guys again i'm not expecting you to believe me on any of these things okay but I am just expecting you that you please understand this is my way of doing dropshipping. This is how we are doing the numbers in one year. This is I'm sharing with you what I'm doing, what we are doing. This doesn't mean that this is the only way. If you can find somebody out there who is doing better than me, by all means, 
that's why you invested only one dollar to testing out if this is for you or not for you. If this is for you, if you feel I can provide some value for you and you can just align with this and say, yeah, it sounds kind of like legit or it sounds kind of like it could work, you can come to the next level because for the next level, I will gonna teach you the next level stuff, which is important for the number two there, okay? So, but now for awareness, please understand. There is, this is the way how I did and how it have to be done in my understanding because I see this is in results, okay? There is something you do, cause and results, okay? Cause and effect. So, for this, the number one, what you have to do is start out with the private account. No, you don't need the business account. There is certain and um, several reasons for that. We are going through this in uh, private coaching groups, but um, I will not gonna dig deep now. Okay, we will maybe cover this on the next video, On a, I mean on the next level, but uh, and what you have to do when you have business account or, or, but just start with the private account. You are the private seller with private address, private account, no promotions, no listings promotions, no paid tools, nothing of this. You just start as a private person selling some products. Now, the step number two, list only products from Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime products. And let me just, uh, let me just give you more. Amazon Prime products, which have a one, two, three, four, or five, at least four stars. Do not list Amazon products if the products have less than four stars. This is crucial, important, guys, please understand this because of there is a there is importance in this because those guys those sellers on amazon who have four stars or more or plus and in the stars i don't mean that they have two or four stars only okay two or four reviews but they have at least 100 reviews okay 100 reviews and more four star reviews or five star reviews why it's this? Because guys, there is a certain things you will gonna uh, do what you will benefit from this. You can find them. There is a plenty of sellers around Amazon. And in the next video, we will gonna do this in a practical way. I will gonna show you on a screen, okay? But this is like your guarantee, your warranty that those guys will not gonna be out of stock just like that one day because they know what they are doing. They have been proven that they know what they are doing. You can trust to them. You don't want to be messed up in your first, on your first step and your first level. That's why you start with those good guys. You follow them, you, you think, you, you, you look what those items are. If they are good item there, you can kind of like have this security. Okay, I can list them. Do not list three star items. Trust me on this. This is proven by hundreds and hundreds of my students. And this is how it is, okay? So, this is step number two. What else? Start with the smallest possible price. When you search for the product, do not go, do not start with the product like 80 bucks product or 120 bucks product. No, 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 no. Start with the smallest possible price. What I mean by this is start with the products on Amazon they are there about, I don't know, five, six, seven, less than 10 bucks. It's just up to you, up to your possibility. When you will gonna move up on this, on the next level and next level, I will gonna go through some of my 799 course where the 799 course is exactly what products to list when you start here, exactly what products for exactly what price and how to do this day from day to day, okay? Every day for three months, there is a blueprint on 799, what you have to do, what products you have to list. This is the proper beginning. Guys, for those who have, uh, I know some people enrolled already from the 799 group already. This is, you know what I'm talking because you grow here and you grow prices here. This is the proportional growth, proportional growth, okay? This is very important because you keep the process in progressive way. 
this is what I didn't understand. This is why I messed it up when eBay uh, suspended my account. Because your account have to be, your foundation have to be laid down properly. This is proper laying down foundation in a proper way. Okay, start with the smallest product possible. If you don't want 799 course and have the blueprint everything in uh, front of you, you can do this on your own. Just start with the lowest possible price pass. And, and believe me, you can find products less than value on $10, okay? Don't say me that, oh, I couldn't find there is only $79 products on Amazon and that's it. So, okay, so you start with the smallest. List the four, the number four, list consistently, not episodically. What I mean by this is when you list on a and the 799 guys again, you know because this is so important, I have been putting in 799. But for those who have not enrolled in 799s, list consistently. What I mean by this is list at least five days a week. Either you choose uh, one product a day, then list one product a day. It's up to you. If you want three products a day and you are capable and you have nothing else to do and you have a limits enough, list three products a day every day. You don't have to list Saturday, Sunday because what it will gonna show to eBay is eBay will have, a, will have this awareness of you that you are consistent on what you are doing. And this is exactly what you need. You need them to prove that you know what you do, that you start, you are not taking high risk products, okay, with the high prices because you are newbie. You don't touch those products at all. You start with the smallest products, you start listing properly, you start listing consistently, not episodically, because you are not shooting for the lottery to win, but you are doing your business. That's what eBay wants to see in your actions there. That's why you have to be consistent. One product a day, two products a day, three products a day, just up to you. Again, in my trainings, we go by two products a day, okay? So, but this is, this is very important for you to start the lay down foundation properly, all right? So, and the next thing is, let me give you two more things, okay? Because they're kind of like related. Get sales as possible, as up. Get sales as up. And please guys, hear me, hear me now. Do not focus on getting profits as up. Focus, try to focus, try to focus on getting sales as up. My students, you know what I mean by this because in, especially in the Quick Cash Coaching Group, we have been going through this, how you can get the cash most quickest way if you if you keep in your mind sales as up sales as up here at this point you have to start with getting sales as up why because of awareness because ebay wants to see what are you doing and how you complete your transaction because ebay wants to see positive feedback from their audience because you are selling to their audience and they want to see that their audience to whom you are selling, they are satisfied. Which means if you complete transaction on a positive note, they will gonna expo they will gonna give exposure for you much bigger and much wider, which means you will gonna get more traffic, which means you will gonna get more sales and more profits. That's why you need sales as possible at the beginning to have the exposure, to have the awareness that you know what you are doing, that eBay can trust you. Because when you join eBay at the very point here, at the lowest point here, when you're a newbie there, eBay is going through those questions like, who are you? They want to know who are you? Not your zip code, not your name, but who are you? Do you know what you are doing? What is that you have? Do you have products like you are messing up with some products, you price them without knowing actually what you are doing or you just run them kind of like seller? They will, they, believe me guys, eBay is very precautious about messing up with their audience because this, the messing up with the audience caused them to lose traffic and the traffic is the buyers. The buyers are not coming to eBay because the eBay sellers don't know what they do really they don't know what they do they're just messing up that item in a stock item is not in a stock and so the, the traffic 
uh, the tracking number is never added to so it's just like uh, you don't know what you're doing why would be why would we give you our audience to mess up because if we are giving to you my audience and you are messing up with my audience I'm losing that audience that audience goes to Amazon and says hey this eBay is crap it's a shitty thing uh, let me, let us go to to Amazon and buy on Amazon and let me bring my friends with me okay so eBay is afraid of losing audience that's why you have to have sales as possible as sub complete transaction as sub and the last number you have to have the feedback as sub because the feedback is your kind of like score on eBay that for there is a two kinds of feedbacks, as you know, sellers' feedbacks and buyers' feedbacks. But the feedback as up is necessarily for you because the numbers will gonna grow here for you, and this is visually giving to buyers like confidence that they can buy from you. You need those numbers to grow as up, as up. In seven ninety nine, you know how to grow the numbers as up. That's why I gave you the what you have to do for the second week to get the numbers up okay because those guys those those things guys those are really really important if you want to get your profits coming in as soon as possible at this stage on awareness stage do not please do not expect that you will gonna have some uh, crazy profits coming in no because this is not the purpose because we are building up the house we understand that awareness is the product here you can take my you don't have to take my word for this try to look on a company out there and try to think whatever company you want what is that their company are concern number one they are taking and sending out all those leaflets and advertising just to get awareness that hey I am here I can sell you something okay they need this reference out there this is exactly what you have to accomplish on the first when you start there not profits profits will come later you have to get the sales as up feedbacks as up price as low as possible items okay those things you have to consider as a very important at the very beginning and the stage on this stage to create your awareness for eBay and to create your awareness about eBay. What is that they are expecting to do? Okay, see you on the next video. We will gonna go through some practical stuff on the screen. I will show you how to find those products on Amazon. Okay, take care guys and thank you for watching. Bye bye.